What's up guys, Billy with Side by Side Stuff. We're here in beautiful Garden Grove, California. We're at the Assault Industries facility, so let's go in and check it out. Marcelo! Hey Billy! What's going on Welcome man? Back. Good to see you. Yeah, you too. How you been? Good, really good. Thanks for inviting us down, man. Yeah, I'm so glad you guys can make it. Yeah, so what are we going to do today? Uh, today I'm going to show you our shop. I want to show you how we make everything here. So I'm going to take you outside. I'm going to show you our CNC machines, our tube benders, our shipping, and then where we put all our cars together, the Hangar 24 R&D room. Let's go check it out. So one thing that we're really, really proud of here at Assault Industry is that we are American made, American proud. We engineer everything in house. After we engineer it, we're able to bring down the programs, plug them into our CNC machines or our two benders and get a finished product in our hands. So this is where it happens. We are a full blown machine shop. We've got everything from CNC machining, welding capabilities, tube bending, sheet metal, you name it, we've got it. There's nothing we can't do here. So here, Bill, we've got our two NC two benders that can bend anything from half inch to two inch tubing. Right now we're making roll cages, but not for UTVs, but for the US Army. This is a, a roll cage for a backpack that will protect some uh, really high-end, delicate electronics. We're at a, the Amata Pega. This thing is a monster. As you can see, this thing will punch parts right out of uh, aluminum, steel. This is a one crazy machine. This is where we punch this part. We're taking the parts that we stamped off the Amada punch press and bending them on our press brake. We're taking this to this. So here we have another Armada. This thing's a, a smaller machine for smaller parts. So as you can see, we've got three press brakes, everything from our smaller Armadas to our big boy, our Derma. It's uh, 60 tons and there's nothing this thing will not bend. We're actually manufacturing the Polaris Slingshot rear fender right now. This is what it looks like. And here's the finished product. We're in our CNC department. We make everything from military parts. We do stuff for SpaceX. We do stuff for B&M Racing. Yamaha is one of our customers. We've been manufacturing for them for about 20 plus years now. As you can see, we're actually making a rear fender rack for them. This is what it looks like off the machine. Then we take it to the uh, press and we form it so it looks like that. So on this machine, we're actually running some assault products. We're taking our black anodized box covers and engraving the assault logo on it. We've got travelers for every part that we manufacture here. Nothing gets out of our shop without an inspection report and an approval stamp by a quality manager. These are kind of old machines here, but I'm actually really proud of them. Two of these machines my dad started in his garage over 35 years ago. These machines are old, but they still get the job done. So we have all types of welding capabilities. As you can see here, we've got stainless steel, TIG welding. Check out these beads. We've got a cage for the X3 project behind my shoulders here. Everything was done in-house. All the tube bending has been done on our NC tube benders. The welding's been done here. The sheet metal uh, roof's been done here. Here's the X3 rear bumper. This is gonna be one cool bumper. Just wait till you see this thing on the machine. So as you can see, we outfit our forklifts like we do our UTVs. We've got the cool Polaris Razor seats in here and the assault mirrors. So here we're actually assembling the new B2 bomber, which has made out of 6061 aluminum here at our shop. They're, uh, they're indestructible, as you can see, everything's aluminum. We guarantee these things for life. You will not break one of these. So right here, we've got a product that we do for Yamaha. It's an off-road clutch flywheel. Uh, it's been packaged, it's been inspected, it's gone through our quality uh, procedures, and they're boxing them up here and getting ready to ship out to uh, Yamaha. So come into the offices, I'll introduce you to the team that makes it happen. This is a team that uh, Assault uh, couldn't be without. These guys wear many hats, but these guys are great and I appreciate everything these guys do for us. They're, the, they're what makes Assault awesome. We've got Nate, we got Dylan, we got Elliot, we got Rolando over here, we got Aaron, 
Mark's missing and, and so is Christina, but man, we've got an awesome team. And like I said, assault wouldn't be assault without these guys. So last but not least, our Hangar 24 R&D room. This is our playground. This is where we test all our parts. This is where we have fun, get our hands dirty and make it happen. Let's go check out what's inside. So this is one of my favorite builds. This is my personal car. It's a YXZ, completely customized with all the best stuff on it. We've got King Shocks, we've got EFX tires and MSA rims on here. And we assaulted this vehicle with all the best assault products. We've got our breakaway mirrors. We've got KC highlights. We've got assault five point harnesses, the assault steering wheel. We This thing is just amazing. It handles like crazy. We put a turbo on this thing. This thing will kick any whoops ass. It's, it's just one fast machine. And uh, we do have a tradition here in Assault is when we do finish a project or a product or a build, we do uh, cheers with a Hangar 24 beer. So cheers to you. All right, cheers.